him because just of the details, you know what I mean? The details as far as running routes, as far as the stance, the start, um, you know, being being that good example, setting that good example for the younger guys. How, how difficult is it, like Coach Pete said on Friday, that you know the defense is throwing a lot of wrinkles at you guys, but he'd rather have you guys see that mm-hmm. and kind of go through the, you know, take the medicine a little bit because yeah. he knows you guys will see it down the road. How, how difficult is the first two weeks of spring for an offense it's just trying to get the playbook in and, and just trying to, to work on fundamentals I think I think in, you know it's always going to be hard the first two weeks especially when you're playing against a defense like ours you know the, the the advantage that we gain is that we go against our defense every day and that's one of the best defenses in the country so if we, if we can go against our defense and we can make plays against our defense every day then we're going to be we're, we're going to we're going to be sitting in a good position in the fall. like this end like this these clutch drills here these 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 two minute yeah. drills type type situations these things where you know if you're not capping Capitalizing that you hear a little bit about it from the defensive guys. I mean, I think that's I think that's just I think that's just competitive nature, right? Yeah. There's chippiness on both sides of the ball. If we make a play, we're, they're going to hear what we have to say too, right? Yeah. But I think it's good. I mean, if you watch the clutch periods, I mean, we drove we drove down the field both times, right? Yeah. And, you know, we just got to we just got to do a better job of finishing in the end zone, and that's just you know that we're off on we got to make plays. I mean, their opportunities were there. We just we just came up short, and, and that's what. And that's what Coach uh, Peterson is talking about. We got to be better in the red zone. Be more. And we got we got to score points. Yeah. So. See, if you feel like it's that close, you yeah. Well, close. I mean, we're right there, but we've got to do it consistently. Yeah. You know, we got to do it every day. And, and Andre was saying that uh, he feels like guys like Spike and and uh, and, and Austin and, and Terrell and those guys are really stepping up and maybe exceeded what you guys thought they might be doing the first two weeks of spring. Do you feel do you feel the same way? No, I feel like they're trending in the right direction. I, I do I do think that we have a lot more work to do. I think they're I think I think we're all you know ways away, including myself. Um, but you know they're making strides. They are, and, and I think uh, we got to be a little bit more consistent in some areas. Yeah. Do you feel like you're finally kind of in the, the grind of it, the dog days, so to speak? Yeah, I love being on the grass, though. This is fun. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. I couldn't ask to be in a better situation with a better group of coaches and a better group of players. Yeah. You know, one guy that's fans, I think, are excited to see what he can do in his last year is Chico. Yeah. Um, just from the, the little that you've been able to see of him so far, what, what do you think he's? He I, makes I love Chico. 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 Uh, but Chico comes with every day. He comes with a smile on his face, and he plays hard. I mean, he, he, he plays hard, and that he's a guy that is a good example for those younger guys you know, to come in there and just he sets the tone in the run game for us. He plays one speed, and it's good to see him making plays and having some success. You know.